Shea Bear 1000 here. It's kind of dark back over in here. Back over behind the toolbox. A little dark. So, let's hang a couple shop lights, see if we can get a little more light where we need it. Okay guys, this is what I bought. I had to go to, was it Lowe's or, yeah, I think it was Lowe's. Um, I bought these because well, the last one I bought was like that one there and it was 10 bucks with the bulbs at Walmart, but all they had was LEDs. And so I had to pay $17 a piece for these. Now I've got plenty of bulbs here but uh, I went ahead and bought four new ones because they are what are they 2900 lumens so hopefully what we're going to do is we're going to hang one right up here I'm going to come over about a f damn it I'm going to come over about a foot and I'm going to hang it I got to hang it back beside this beside the garage door because you know in the summertime the doors up it blocks the light out I had that one up there but it quit working and um, so I still want to put one up there now and then I'm gonna put one over there the same way I'm gonna come in about a foot and because I still got some light there but and I'm gonna come in to about where the door the the door rail is there the door track and that way it can shine down on uh, my toolbox and then once I get this all cleaned out of course um, you know it, it'll also when the doors down at night when I really really need them um, it should give because see this kind of covers up the door too but that's no big deal you just pull the door down a little bit but these you know it will once the doors closed it'll give out uh, you know a, a fair fair amount of light I've also got uh, this trouble light I've got that trouble light uh, I've got another trouble light hanging over there that little battery powered yellow one there it's been working great man um, but I've also got this light. Well, it needs a bulb now. I do have another one of these. See, I made this stand work because it was all busted up. So I mounted my light on it, but I do have one of these. But these get really hot. If you set them down to work underneath something or whatever, the heat just gets to you. So, uh, so I do have trouble light. So I'll, I'll have plenty of light, but I still want to get one more right here. And uh, so... I should have went ahead and bought three, but I'll probably put another one of these up here. I don't know. I would like to go with all LEDs, but they're like $39 a piece for the good ones. And I would need, what, two, four, five of them. Yeah, I would need five, you know, 40 bucks times five. I, I can't swing that right now, but someday I'll have all LEDs in here. So um, I thought about like the like these ones here you know running them lengthways instead of this way but you know it's a small garage so that'll be fine uh, no big deal alright so I want to fast forward you through this because really all I'm going to do is measure over 12 inches I'm going to kind of go as close as I can to this door track and just put a couple holes up there a couple anchors and I should be good to go so hang tight, I'll get you on the stand and blur that door down. And oh, I gotta get my ladder in here too, so. All right, hang tight guys and I'll be right with you. Sorry about the lighting guys, but the first thing we're gonna do, let's just go ahead and open, these, open at least one of these up for you. And let's check it out. Hopefully my cord will be long enough from where it's gonna go all the way down to my power which is right over there if you look above the grinder I don't know if you get my power I hate to have to run an extension cord just for like you know five or six inches but okay so 
That looks good. And of course, we got our got our paperwork here. Shows you how to hang it. Again, sorry about the light. The light is bright here. And we've got our chains, which they're gonna they're gonna be very short um, because, like when I when I hung that one and that one, you can see how short the chain is. It's only a couple lengths, so. But I'll be hanging them a little lower this time. I'll, like I said, I want to go about even with that with that door track. So I'll have enough chain. This one here, I hope I'll have enough. I've got a I've got an outlet up inside there. Hopefully I can run run my power cord up into there. And like I said, this one here is going to come. It's going to be over in here. So hopefully it'll be enough to come down and into my power strip but you know that's left to be seen uh, if I have to run a I do have a short <coughs> excuse me a white short extension cord if I need to I can do that I just hate you know that's why I try to keep everything you know kinda neat back in here see cuz all this see like all these they're all run underneath the bench this one actually has a hole to run down through but yeah all these run down here and underneath the bench so this I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep it like this or if I'm gonna go ahead and put a I'll probably just put a wire wheel on this and then move this down here and do away with that uh, was my initial plan anyway so that's probably what I'm gonna do that way I'll have you know from like from here over as a workspace so that should be all right this um, is a little close to the door when the door is down but I've, I've got plenty of room and like I said I'm in Florida so I've got the door open most every day even in the winter time you know it gets in the 70s here so all right so just wanted to unbox this for you real quick all right uh, like I said let me get the ladder and We'll go ahead and start measuring holes, putting anchors and screws in, and we'll go from there. like that you know what I mean but yeah, what are you gonna do right uh, without cutting the end off and running it up into the attic and, and taking it over here to power I, I really don't want to do that right now <laughs> I may later but had trouble getting bulbs in that one these things 
See, so I've got like these lights are on the switch, and the one that's over there is going to be on the switch. And this one is switch right here, and it kills everything there. Uh, there's no pull string, which is kind of handy. Look at that. See, that's Jesus, piece of shit. Fucking $17.99. 18, 20 bucks of tax, you know, and this is the shit you get. Look at that. Look at the gap between there. Fucking bullshit. And then if I want, though, I can, you know, unplug that one. Or leave that one plugged in. Unplug these ones. Like I said, these are coming down, and it's going to get one of them lights there mounted directly right on top of here. But as you can see now, I've got plenty of light here to work. So that's pretty much what I had before. So now I can see. All right, now I got to move all this shit so I can get the ladder over there. I did come in 16 inches. Okay, so uh, just a little bit more, um, kind of more light over here. But um, so, like I said, because I'm gonna, I don't need it to come over this way anymore because I'm gonna have a light here. So. Um, it does seem a little dark over there until I turn the other ones on and then when, once I get one of these up here I'll have plenty of light. If I do need more light over there I can hang another one but uh, I'm going to go ahead and measure that light. Maybe the chains aren't right but I think it's this. You would think these would be straight but I mean the chain can't be wrong you know. I just went to the end of the chain so yeah look at that. That's why did they do that? That's the stupidest fucking thing. Overall review, thumbs down. You know, I give it a three out of ten. Yeah, and you know it's hard to get the bulbs in to get them working. If you saw me struggling, that was in you know that was fast forward too. You know, it looks like they're just gonna fucking pop out of there at any time. The T12, okay. T12. Look at that shit. Alright guys, let me get some stuff moved so I can get my ladder over here. And get this one put in. Like I said, this one will come on and off with the main switch. lights out and there's a uh, little gap in the door there I've tried to adjust that but the doors kind of bent in a little bit um, but like I said we're in Florida it's no big deal okay so when I walk in the garage I'll flip this light on and as you can see that one came on that one came on that one and that one okay and then all I gotta do is go over here and flip this little switch and we got this like I said that little switch flips on my grinders everything is ready to go so it really lightened it up in here so I'm good with that. I measured that track over there. The lights even. Uh, the track is not. The track's a little, let's see, what is it? It's like 11 inches here and 12 inches right before you get to the to the bend. This one's pretty much level. So I don't know why they did that, but anyway, so that but the light is, is level, it's it's exactly ten and a half inches. 
on both sides. So as you guys can see, from what it looked like before, it looked like this. Hey everyone, Shea Bear 1000 here. It's kind of dark back over in here. Now it looks like this. So it, it has really helped. Now I can see to get my toolbox over there. I can see to work here, down there on my grinders and buffers. And uh, like I said, I am going to do away with these lights. They're just too bright, you know. I mean, they help, but sometimes they're too bright. You gotta push them down there. But you know, it's what we had. I thought I'd hang them up there um, until I can get a smaller one, an LED four footer to go across here which there's plenty of light over in that direction so what I'll probably do is bring it like from the edge where you at? like from the edge of that light only down here over to my four feet and uh, then I'll have some light you know let's just see then I'll have light over here too so it'll be approximately right about to here. So you guys see it? And then you know the other, you know, it, it lights up pretty good even out to the side. So, um, but as far as these lights go for 18 bucks, 17.99 plus tax, ten dollars for those packs a two so that's 20 bucks in the bulbs I do like the bulbs I do like the looks of them because they're 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 brighter you know like like these ones here match that one back there but this one let's see here we this one here right there it's more yellow I don't, I don't like the yellow what they call the warm look. I need a, a cooler light in here, you know, to brighten things up more. So once I get one in the center there where that little 40 watt light bulb is, I mean, that's what I started working with in here was that 40 watt light bulb. Then I asked her to pick me up a treble light one day at Walmart, one of these, and she came back with that red thing over there. Like I said, it wasn't on stand though. I, the, the stand was given to me, I just fabricated it to fit on there, but so I used it and then it just got super duper hot. Them things throw out some heat. I got an orange one right here. That was her dash. Right here. Same style, just a little older. Uh, but they, they're just too hot, you know. They're more for like outside stuff. So anyway guys, that's all I'm doing today. Uh, stay tuned for a garden update. I think I'm going to do the garden update. It's going to be the last update. I'll keep going. With the sunflowers but the garden update uh, you can see they're growing everything's doing good it's getting bigger uh, you know once the bigger tomatoes and the peppers really start producing real well I may do another one later on but it'll probably be the last one of those so anyway guys thanks for watching appreciate it Shea Bear the Mental Man of Legend I'm gone for now don't forget to check out Monkey 1000 channel appreciate it alright we'll see you guys soon have a great week bye bye now